All right, guys, now that we are back on this part here, um, now we're gonna go ahead and set up the auto mount, right? So the thing is that, so we got our hard drive, we got our hard drive mounted in our router, right? Which we can access. We got Samba up so that way our Windows computers can access our hard drive and our cell phones. Er, er, you know, basically every device on the, on the Wi-Fi is not now has a means of being able to access it. So now what we need to do is we need to set it up to where if the router was to be turned off or turned back on, right, you lose power or something, that it would remount the hard drive automatic. Quick disclaimer, right? This doesn't always work because if the if the hard drive needs to be rechecked, so like you know, file system check, right, it's not gonna mount it, and then you're gonna have to go in manually to do run a, a check file system check and then uh, mount it which i haven't tested if this uh file system check before mount thing actually works i like to to be truly honest i kind of like to be a little bit manual with my things but i'm going to assume that what I, the issue i just described this would probably fix it so we're gonna go ahead and, ch and check it right um, but personally, like as a preference, I normally release stuff like that unchecked so I can go in and do certain things myself. But I'm gonna go ahead and check that. And then I'm going to go ahead and now I'm gonna add the mount point, right? So the mount point is where, where we kind of set up, where we set up the auto mount. So I'm gonna do mount, right? Making sure that you put it in a place, right? That, that exists, right? Cause you can't just mount it anywhere. I like to specify the file system, so NTFS, and I already checked the other thing there, so that, so let's go ahead and save, right, and there you go. So now what I'm going to do is, is I am going to, I don't know why that didn't go, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and apply, all right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, let's go ahead and hit reboot, rebooting our router here. Our router it has now been booted up. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in, sign in into the root, check the mount point. And as you can see, that didn't work. What we're going to need to do now is let us go ahead and edit this file right here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's hit the terminal. So let's go ahead and we are going to, let's remount it. And let's try to actually mount it with uh, read write access. All right, and then let's go ahead and let's get this stuff in there. Hopefully it works, hopefully uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's go here and hit enter all right so if i look here now our hard drive is up and let's uh let's make a random file and oh yeah how could i forget i forgot right um let's go back into our uh network thing here and uncheck the read only Go ahead and hit save and apply. All right, for, you know, I said for safety, cause I don't have a reason to um, write onto it. I'd rather just like plug it directly to my computer and do that. It's a little bit faster that way anyway, versus like adding stuff over the internet. If you're dealing with big files, if you're dealing with small files, then yeah, you can just drop it on there. But, um, all right, let me just make a text file. And as you guys can see, Right, there we go, right? I, it is it is uh, readable and writable, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just put that read only back on real quick. And we are going to now uh, go into our terminal and make those uh, custom commands. All right, let's go ahead and now let's make our hard drive auto mount. So there we go. As we're signing back in, right? If you remember right, we need to do VI, right? So VI is like the uh, the program, and we are editing the slash etc slash uh, rc dot local. Boom. There you go. And so now let's go ahead, and I'm gonna copy this whole thing, and then I'll just, I guess the sleep one must be important. All right. So then I'm gonna hit escape colon right wq 
All right, now let's go ahead and let's go to our mount point. Um, and then I think I probably do need to also add this here. So let's go ahead and run that. And now let's go ahead and get to our mount point. All right. All right, so this is that. Let's reboot it and see if it sticks. We're rebooting. We're gonna go to our hard drive, see our hard drive is no longer accessible, right? The router is restarting or we just lost power and it is coming back on. So now let's see if everything works out the way it should. All right, and it is back. Uh, let's see what happens. And there you go, guys. As you can see, it is uh, our hard drive is back, right? So there we go. There's nothing to do. And like I said, I have it read only. Um, so we'll leave that there. Now that that is taken care of, we should be all good to go now. Now the, the next segment in this video series is going to be VPN, right? How to get your VPN uh, up and running. Uh, specifically, the one I use is Hotspot Shield. So I'll show you guys how to set that one up and then that'll be the final part of this uh, quick uh, video series that we made with open warp.